stasis boards. Right over here. There we go. Oh my god, that's some big stasis word action. What is going on? Is it because it, it's because they stunned the brutalists? Alright everyone, welcome back to another Death Strack Brawl. We're gonna be playing some Vorzoon today. Uh so I did have Vorzoon rated quite low this week, but I'm gonna try two different Vorzoon strategies. Uh, so actually before we get into it, let's go tier two. And then, let's also explain what the modifiers this week are. So the modifiers, we have Endurance. Alright, so units don't time out anymore. So normally units time out after like around 90 seconds. Uh, so there's not like an infinite stack of units. That's why we're calling this the Death Stack Brawl. Uh, there's also Accord, so there's no middle income. And there's also Bountiful, so there's double income from refineries. So you want to be just building refineries ASAP. Uh, so, the reason my Vorazun is so low this week, because uh, I have rated it in like the D tier. I think, or the C tier, something something low like that, um, is because she doesn't really have a unit that stacks. Like, yeah, the best thing that you can get is maybe the Void Ray, because it has 9 range if it uh, fires up and charges up, but uh, it's a little, a little, a little tough argument to make. So, uh, what we're gonna, oh yeah, we also have Rescue Strike, so it's just a nuke that we can use to just blow everything up uh, in a certain area that is on our side of the map. Uh, so you can't use it aggressively, uh, which is good. If you could use it aggressively, it probably would be uh, pretty unhealthy. Uh, for the game. Uh, so that being said, um, that's basically it for this week's Brawl. Uh, that's the Death Stack guy. Go check out the tier list. I got a Phoenix game in there already. Uh, so uh, be sure to check that out if you want to see some Phoenix. I also linked it up here. And if you guys want to see Artanis, just throw it down uh, with um, some gateway units, like an old school Brood War. Go check out a video that I made uh, for this week's Death Stack. Uh, Brood War, uh, like the gateway Artanis is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so we're going to see how these stockings perform. Let's come against Stetman, question mark? Because there's a Gary. Um, is Gary purple? Yeah, Gary's purple. I'm against Stetman. Okay, well. Uh, what is Stetman likely to go? Stetman is likely to go Battle Carrier Lords and Lurkers, I think. I think. It's just, I don't know, man. Okay, so our first build that we're going to try and do is just good old Stalkers. Just, as you can see, this guy's just making a run for it. <laughs> He's making a run for it. He's like... If I can get to the other side, I can get out of this game. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, so, uh, there, uh, let's see. I don't know how all this uh, stock only build is going to go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but the next build I'm going to try is just going pure air wars. So stay tuned for the second round, right? There's going to be two games in this in this video. So it's going to be a little bit of a long looking video, but you know, I think uh, you guys might, might enjoy having a little bit of variety, especially after now that Manx Madness is done. Because uh, Manx Madness went on for a whole week. Not a whole week, a whole month essentially. And uh, now it's gone and it's over. And uh, this week I'm gonna be doing like, I know I asked uh, a bunch of you guys if you guys wanna, like what you guys wanna see, but I think for this week I'm just gonna do every single commander because I think, uh, well, endurance is a very unique modifier that I don't think, I don't think we'll, we're gonna see more of it anytime soon. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make sure I'm, I like, get the most playtime out of it and uh, you guys get the most out of it, uh, being able to see, well, what it has to offer. Um, uh, that being said, if you guys are new here to my channel and you guys enjoy Direct Strike content, well, consider dropping me a sub. Well, actually, go watch some of my videos first. Go watch the videos I recommended linking uh, that I linked in the top right corners and see if you like them. And if you do, well, subscribe because uh, I make these videos videos every single day of the week. And so, especially now with like coronavirus right now, just means just I don't know when it's gonna end. I hope it ends soon. You know, that's what everyone hopes. Um, hope we return back to normalcy. But um. You got nothing to do, probably? Question mark? I don't know, maybe you can watch this to your uh, breakfast or something. I know, because I know I like, I have a bunch of YouTubers like, who are, like, that I watch just like when I eat food or something. Because it's just, it's like watching TV. Like, I don't watch TV anymore, honestly. Like, um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't watch TV. I, I, I ain't, I ain't about that anymore. I don't know. I'm not, I've never been a big TV person. I don't know why. Um, like, if I do want to watch a movie or a show, I literally just sit down and watch it for like 12 hours back to back the entire season. And then once I'm done, I'm like, oh my god, that was an experience. And then I'm like, we're never doing that again. <laughs> For like, I don't know, until I decide to watch another show. If I use Biomass on Swarm Posts, uh, yes. Are the Locusts upgraded? Yes. They get like 200 HP, I think. Around that much HP, don't quote me on that. Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh, 65, and it times it by 3. So yeah, it's 240 HP. Locusts are quite good with 240 HP. Oh, you know, Biomass Locusts yeah, do seem quite good. Abathur's gonna be, uh, actually, Abathur's gonna be coming out tonight as a video at 7 p.m., so stay tuned for that. Because um, on the weekends, I like to release three videos. 
Um, because, you know, weekends, I think uh, there's just more... Um, people have more time to just sort of just, you know, kick it back and just relax. And so there's more there's more opportunity to watch stuff. Like, I, like, I think, like, two videos a day is kind of, like, probably the max I'll ever do for, like, weekdays. Because it's just, like, it's just a lot, right? It's just a lot. And um, I understand that like, a lot of it usually gets buried or something, right? Um, honestly, like I'm just taking after like a few other like YouTube gamers or like YouTubers that I've seen um, as my role model in terms of like, how much I should be uploading. Because uh, I, like I, I know that like um, I don't know if you guys like play Hearthstone, but uh, I watch a lot of Kripparian. Like, I don't play Hearthstone, right? I just watch him play it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Right? I don't know how many how many of you guys are here uh, watching me play Direct Strike, uh, but not actually playing Direct Strike. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i always curious about that. Um, so you, can get, you guys can let me know about that. Um, but yeah, it's just like, I, I used to play Hearthstone, I don't anymore, but I still keep up with it, because like, Kripparian just always uploads every day. And he, he does, he streams most of the time, right? And he takes some of like the best games he has uh, on stream uh, into, well, on his YouTube videos, and he uploads like twice a day. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good, you know? Like, I, uh, I dig that, because I watch both of those videos. I watch it during lunchtime, and I watch it during dinner time, And I'm just like, I should copy those times, you know? Uh, it's, it's just my own thought process about like, how, how to get around it. Uh, ooh, god. Okay, those Nova Siege tanks are a little bit of a pain, but it looks like Centurion uh, stalkers are actually quite good. Um, the only thing is, like, Vorazun's not good on her own, right? It's like, if uh, if I didn't have teammates that had stacking, like, comps, right, I would probably be in trouble. No middle income refiner's level. Come on, bro. Uh, this guy has not been gassing. That's probably what it is. Uh, okay, so let's put that put that guy down here. Put that guy down here. Okay, we got some centurions. We got a we got a fat wave of centurions at the front, so that's gonna be able to stun quite nicely. And uh, we're gonna get stalkers. So uh, clearly, we did not read. Uh, clearly, one of us here has not read the modifiers this week. That's why it's important. That's why you should always read the modifiers. Uh, reading is an important skill, guys. Um, especially if uh, I've seen so many games where people just don't realize they have they have rescue strike and they just die. They just like guess I'll sit here and die and then. I'm like, bro, you have rescue strike. Guys, just just, just use it. Just do it. Send it out. Uh, so the Centurions are doing great at uh, just going in and tanking uh, and dying. Uh, oh my god, but that, this one heavy siege tank in the back, that's going to be the end of me. I think I need to do something. Is there? Oh my god, there's ghosts here. Are these Novas? Oh my god, Nova has just been stacking up because we don't have a detector. Oh crap. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's get an Oracle over here, and then I need to make sure Oracle gets uh, Stealth Drive so that they don't get, like, wasted themselves. Uh, okay, there we go. Stealth Drive is up and running. Huh, I guess these tanks... Can I get... I don't think I should get Void Rays against Goliaths. I think I can. I think I can afford to get Void Rays against Goliaths because um, the... Void Rays will outrange the Goliaths, and they'll be busy hitting my Stalkers. Uh, I think it's inevitable that I uh, should get it. I don't know. I sort of just want to keep going with the Stalker build, and I'm just keeping tape with it. But, um, as you can see here, the Stalker build is dying. Uh, <laughs> ah, let's see. Yeah, I need somebody to kill these tanks in the back. These Nova tanks are stacking up real hard. Um... Coordinating, coordinating attack, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get two void rays on the side. Um, and get that prismatic uh, range. Uh oh, someone used the new. As you can see, it goes on cooldown, so you don't spam all your nukes at once. I think that's a good design. It's an intelligent design by Tia, right? Because I think like at some point, I think this didn't go on cooldown, so like your whole team could have just used the rescue strike at the same time. Uh, since you can't really coordinate too well, right? Because it's like it's like it's like you have to time it. So it's like you can't be like I'm, I'm rescue striking and then you're sending out because like. That little bit of text that you typed up might have cost you the game, right? Um, so, that's a good design. I uh, really appreciate the fact that it goes on cooldown, so that your, your whole team doesn't just eat everything out. And it's like, oops. Where the rescue strike go, it's like, oh, we used it. All of it? Yep, all of it. Uh, oops. Okay, so, alright, as I predicted, the Goliaths are getting distracted. Um, so, Void Ray here is doing good work, beaming them down. But where are the Nova Siege tanks? Oh, there they are. There they are. Well, this guy is, uh... I mean, Nova does not have Lockdown myself yet, so that's good news. Uh, hmm. So I think I need some more Void Rays. I need a few more Void Rays. But uh, this is this is mainly a Stalker build. I don't know. I feel like this this might be like your best Forzoom build to go to. 
right? I know I'm gonna try an air only Warzone build, but I feel like I mean, that might be a little bit more mean than this one that I'm doing right now. This one seems very stable. Like, you'll survive. Um, did we get Rescue Strike? I can't tell, but Nova has locked down missiles now on her collides. Um, that's gonna be very bad for Han Horn. Um, yeah, those are steer rates. Not gonna send a chance there. Um, wait, are there two Novas? There are two Novas! This is the guy with lockdown. That's why. Right. Oh my god, there's two Novas. Okay, so my Void Rays don't stand a chance then. Um, because yeah, they just flew right past them. These guys flew right past them. So I can't I can't have them off to the side anymore. I gotta keep in front and center. I gotta keep in front and center. So I don't keep in front and center, then like, uh, they're gonna just do what they just did there. And uh, that is not desirable. See, the thing is, Swarm Hosts aren't good into tanks. Because, um,. The tanks can obliterate the swarm host before uh, they can get close. Forever sleep. Uh, forever sleep. Okay, I need to go tier 3 lane. I need to get a black hole. Um, yeah, this Nova doesn't have lockdown missiles, so the Asteria rates are gonna go to town. I mean, at least there's that that's going for us. The Asteria rates here, at least. Ooh, come on, get a stalker out. Go complete the cycle. I have down another stalker over here. There we go. And then now I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how well my boy is gonna perform now that they're in the center. Uh, okay. Okay. Now this guy's locked down missiles. Ah, uh, but there's there's too many rates. There's too many rates. Um, okay. So now that the void rays are are front and center, they are getting aggressively killed off by Stetman's Hydralis. Nice. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, one of them died already. One of them's quite low, and uh, the other one survived. Rather than escape. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, the steel rates are being targeted by lockdown. Uh, but now my void rates are being targeted by lockdown. There we go, okay. Uh, those Goliaths, though. Uh, we are putting, we are pushing in, though. Like, these swarm posts are very good. Um, so it's a good thing that Avatar is here to like, carry the weight on the stack, because I definitely can't stack for anything. Uh, besides uh, just having stalkers out. Uh, let's pick... Wait, 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 that's an oracle, that's an oracle! I wanted the Void Ray, I fat fingered it. I pressed G and. Oh, I pressed F instead of G because it ran next to each other on the keyboard. Okay, so this is the enemy thing when he's a rescue strike here. Um, so if they're not, it's gonna be pretty bad for them. Let's, go, let's get some more ground weapon upgrades. Um, that might be their cannon. This rescue strike takes a, a, a few moments to actually land. Uh, but that looks like. Oh, that's, that's the cannon, that's the cannon. Uh. I am cool with that. I wonder if my glides, I mean, my void rays actually counter his glides because they cost 10 less resources, like 10 less minerals to get. Um, so, theoretically, theoretically, uh, they, they uh, are more cost effective at some point. In time. I don't know. It's fine. Like, the void rays are really here to support my stalkers. So, like, the stalkers are the main front line that distract everything. I think I need some more centurions, like, over here on the corners. Uh, so let's put a centurion down over here. I need to put a centurion down here. There's a spot there for him. Uh, Alright. Like, Nova's quite strong, as you can see. Uh, Stepman could do something like what Zagar does uh, by unstacking your opponent with mainlings. The only issue is that yeah. See these swarm hosts? That's, that's, that's the issue. Well, they got rescue strike, but I'm not going to tell them. Oh, oh, okay, there it is. That's the rescue strike. Now that kills some of my guys, actually. Um, okay, let's make sure Nova Siege tanks in the back can't uh, do anything. Or at least some of them can't do anything. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough. Void rays on the Nexus. There we go. So this is a pretty solid build, actually. Um, the only sort of like worry that you'll have is probably if you don't have an ally that stacks, then uh, you're gonna have a bad time. But like honestly, I think I, I think this build is quite good. Uh, let's look at the overview. Oh my god, I did that! Oh my god, I killed a lot of things. It didn't feel like it, but apparently I killed the most units in the game, and I dealt I almost dealt the most damage. That belongs to uh, the Nova here in black. Uh, and no surprise here. Look at all those siege tanks. Oh my god. Uh, this Nova had mostly Goliaths, because I think, well, obviously, you're going up against Han and Horner, so Goliaths isn't necessary. Uh, this guy was going up in Swarm Host. Like, I'm telling you, man, Nova this week, she's going to be so good. I just need to, I need to, I have an idea of what I want to do with the Nova build, but I'm gonna, I got to try it out first. Uh, let's look at units. Mineral value killed 48k, and they lost 32k. Wow, this build was so cost effective. So you know what? Despite the Stalkers not having, 
Oh my god, why is this guy lagging? I'm trying to go over the- Oh my god, I can't believe some guy's lagging on the end screen. Okay, anyway, you know what? Let's just, let's just, despite the stalkers not having cooldown reduction on their blink, they are still so good. Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just get to the next video, because this guy- I can't even click the victory button! Oh my god, guys, I'm literally being held hostage here. Alright, I'm just gonna cut- Alright, we are back. Let's rock it. Uh, so let's just go right That's towards like that tier 3 war zone. Uh, not tier 3, tier 2, with the uh, Air Force power. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't really, I didn't even realize that it was possible for someone to lag out at the, on the end game screen and make it so that you couldn't interact with the victory button or the defeat button. That was hilarious. Um, I guess you learn every, something new every day. Okay, so with this build, I don't know if it's going to be half as good as the first one because I'm going straight for air. Uh, looks like we have, is it a Manx gunner team? Uh, yeah, that is a Manx bunker. So I don't know what my opponent's going for. That's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight for Air Force. I don't know, I feel like maybe I should not force the build, because forcing the build might not be the best thing. Uh, let's, put down, let's put down the cannons over here. Uh, I can't scan yet. I almost scan though. Make sure I'm auto gassing. Oh, is this Abathur with roaches? Okay. Oh no, Abathur air power is actually gonna rip me into shreds, I think. It might be the only thing that beats me, because. Devourers eat my Corsairs alive. Uh, uh, okay, you know what? Let's go with this. Let's get some of these bad boys here. These guys will stack quite nicely because uh, they're invisible. <laughs> Dark Templar, baby. So I know, I know he's probably got yeah, he's got a bunch of roaches and stuff. All right. Um, Shadow Fury. Chop those guys up real quick. Now Abathur has roaches. The thing is, uh, he's got no detection, so these Dark Temp are, are gonna survive until next round. Uh, and that's gonna be hilariously good, okay. Uh, can you guys blink back over here? Not enough targets. No, 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 survive! Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, there's two Abathurs! Okay, so, if it's two Abathurs and he's going and he's going Swarm Pulse, he has to. has to. Uh, I mean, not he, I have to. Go uh, ground units. I don't think I can uh, contest Abathur Air. Abathur Air is way too good. Abathur Air is way too good. Like it's a rain of ground with a. He's going small bio units. Um, Break it down. Sure. I mean, rain or bio will make my Dark Templars useless at some point. But that being said, rain or bio also dies horribly to Dark Templar. <laughs> let's watch this in action. Okay, so you know what? You know, let's let's just interrupt that air air only war zoom build. Let's forget about it. Uh, I want to do builds that work. Um, builds that work for our situation. Look at that. They just got eviscerated. Okay, blink him backwards. There we go. Oh, he's got an overseer. Ah, okay, I need some corsairs to kill off uh, that stuff. Okay, so there we go. I mean, the roaches still aren't good enough. Look at that. The roaches still aren't good enough for that one DT. Oh my god, this one DT just not come out. Alright. Oh, but. Ooh. Oh no, he's slowed. He's slowed. Okay, so I need some Corsairs. Uh, gotta make sure that uh, nothing in the air, in the terms of detection, survives. Uh, so we're just gonna knock out that Overseer, and uh, we're gonna be in a good spot. Uh oh, I'm at face with Overseer. Why'd I do this? Why did I do this, Wujus? Uh, I think my, my friends are telling me to come and uh, go do a virtual hangout or something. Let me let me just uh, close that down real quick. There we go. Your screen probably froze right now, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. No more, no more, no more Facebook notifications. Oops. Oops! <laughs> uh, Alright, there we go. Knock out that detection, please. Alright, there we go. No detections allowed. My Corsairs are invisible, so they're gonna stack quite- Oh no, he's got spider mines! Uh, okay, there are his swarm hosts. The Overseer is surviving, though. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that the Overseer survived. Like, I'm not killing it fast enough. And the Corsairs are always just gonna hang around here, which is great. Because they're going to be able to kill the Overseers from the next wave. Which means Abther is going to be forced to go with some sort of air units, I think, at some point. Okay, so, there we go. Kill the Overseer. Kill the Overseer. Get rid of it. There we go. Overseer is down. That one Aegis Guard, though, he just, he just got slime everywhere, dude. He can't, he can't attack. Uh, <laughs> he just can't attack. He needs slowed down. Um, I mean, our opponents are going units that don't stack. Um, there are some Swarm Moves here. I've seen that. But uh, other than that, no, not really. I mean, I guess I will end up going air or zoom right now because I got a lot of corsairs, got a lot of air support. 
Dark Templars are very useful on the ground, so uh, they have no detection. Oh, they're getting chopped up. Cutting down the size right here. Uh, okay, there we go. Holy god, okay, destroy those spider mines so that before we uh, get knocked out. Okay, there we go. Overseer is down. And with the Overseer down, and my Dark Templar can get to work. Just killing all these things. Oh god, we need we need detection here. Okay, I need I need to get um, an oracle as well. Uh, let's get an oracle over here. Oracles are gonna attack things. So uh, there we go. I'm gonna make sure I get another one of these. I mean, they got their stealth drive on, so that's fine. Like my corsairs here, they're not dying because they're not being contested at all. Um, uh, and uh, let's leave it that way. Let's leave it that way. Drop a little scan here. Maybe I can, maybe I can upgrade disruption web. Uh, for them, so they can just cast destruction web. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god. This is the air war zoom that we, uh, this is the air war zoom build that I never knew that I wanted to go. Um, I don't know, but the Corsairs are gonna die now. They're gonna fly forward and they're gonna die. Disruption web. Okay, come on. Kill the Overseer. Kill the Overseer. Kill the Overseer. Ah! They almost got it. They almost got it. Okay. Let's upgrade air weapons. I don't need to upgrade my DT's weapons, because my DT's are so strong anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, there we go. And Dark Templar are the perfect counter to uh, all these Locusts. Because uh, Locusts don't stand a chance uh, against the Dark Templars. Okay, so he, they used uh, men in order to keep their wave alive here, or their Orvisus alive. That can be amended. <laughs> you guys like what I did there? I don't know. Um, puns are just hilarious. Um, <laughs> what's, the, what's the radius on Disruption Web? Can I see it? I can't see it. Okay, so I can't I can't cast it here, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, just, I just gotta wait for my next. I just gotta wait for the my next course here to come out. Okay, there we go. What is the? There's no radius. They just put it down. That's that's nuts. No way. No way. Oh, you select. The, I guess they select the target and they put it down on a target. I don't know. Well, I have a lot of air units right now, and uh, I mean Rainer's got tanks. He's got Guardians, uh, which are going to die horribly to my Corsairs. Oh no, Corsairs, go back, go back, yeah, yeah, go back, go back, go back, kill the Guardian, kill the Guardian, kill the Guardian! What are you guys doing? Oh no, Corsair AI, please. Okay, so, um, alright, so we're going to need more of this, but we're going to start getting some Void Racers. So I guess I did end up going Vorzoon here, uh, just not in the way that I wanted to open the Vorzoon here, I guess. Uh, I mean, Avatar, if he went to the Bowers, probably would give me a really, probably would give me a really hard time, honestly. Um, but, uh, I'm fine with this. Raynor has no scans right now. I can tell because, uh, okay, he just scanned, so his Vikings landed, and then they have to come back up again. This is hilarious. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's get some detection over here. There we go, there we go. Uh oh, here's there's the devour. There's the devour. Uh well I mean the, oh, there's one devour, so it's a little too little too late. Too little too late. Um uh, oh my god, I have a fat stack. This is like two this is two waves of Corsairs. Uh, all stacked up. Okay, there goes the detection. Um uh, I mean there's the cannon detecting them, but uh That's fine. These uh, Dark Templar over here are have free reign. They just do chop chop things. Come on, baby, cut him up, cut him up. Okay, I think I need more Dark Templar. Because, like, the, the Void Rays are doing okay, but, um, I think that Dark Templar are carrying the weight. The thing is, I think I noticed, like, um, the units are bugged right now. They don't actually show how many kills they've gotten. I don't know if it's because, like, last week they had the Equality Brawl come up, and then, like, now, like, everything's just all glitched out. I don't know if that's the case. Might be the case. Let's get shields, because, um, Dark Templars have a lot of shields. And, uh... Yeah, Dark, Temp Dark Templars are the only ones that have shields, but I'm just gonna get some shield upgrades. I'm gonna get one weapon upgrade for ground weapons. And, uh, there we go. Alright. Just eliminate all of those Guardians. Oh my god, come on. Come back, come back. Come back. Okay, there we go. Guardian? Oh no. Alright, well, let's find that bit. Those Damos Vikings got it. Um. Okay. So now my Void Rays are actually stacking quite nicely. Um. They're the ones, yeah, they're the ones that are that seem to survive. Uh, the Dark, Dark Templar are only really, they just get sent in there to like just cut up all the ground units uh, as best as possible. 
Yeah, it's like all these roaches and stuff. This is a really, this is a really uh, durable app that they're waiting. I don't know, I might have, I might have done something greedier where I just literally just rush swarm pulse with no front line. That would probably be a recipe for disaster. Um, alright, let's go. Get that, get that voice recorder over here. Got four void rays now. Um, and let's go. Void rays are gonna do quite well against Abathur's uh, comp so far, because it's mostly armored units, um, that he's building. I think Abathur only has access to armored units. Uh, besides, like, his Mutalist, I don't think there's anything else going for him that I ain't armored. Okay, so just just massacre those roaches real quick. Um, there we go. Well, that's a Rainer scan, I think. Yeah, they have to use Rainer scan. Otherwise, like they're gonna they're gonna be in some stuff. Uh, okay, there we go. Cleanse those swarm hosts out of here. Get them out of here. Burn them down. It's how that he got a brutalist. Jesus, what a mad lad. I would I, no, I would not be building brutalist. Um, not into this many Aegis guards. Uh, that being said, though, the Aegis Guards are getting slowed down by, uh, all these Roaches. Uh, okay, so, I mean, as soon as the slow disappears, the Aegis Guards are still going quite good. Okay, so, let's, let's get some, let's get some more Void Rays. I got two Oracles. I the Oracles are dying too quickly. I don't know. Rainer Anti-Air, though, is quite good against me. The good thing I have my Con Corner ally here to back me up. I got Nova to back me up. Playing, on a, playing ironically, not Nova. Um, uh, okay, so, Shields level 2. Let's get some air armor. Uh, let's get shields level two so that uh, my dark templar are gonna be extra tanky. All right, there we go. Just burn through everything. Get in there, boys. Burn them. Oh my god! Look at those swarm holes in the back, though. Okay, we got a lot of dameless vikings here now. Um, we are burning through the cannon with my void rays. My void rays just aren't drawing aggro for most of the things he's got here. Like. The only thing he's got to kill my Void Rays? Oh no, he's got the Swarm Horse. He's got the Swarm Horse. I was gonna say, the only thing he has are the Queens, and I'm just like, wait, no, hold on. The Swarm Horse. Um, so I think I'm gonna need some more Dark Templar. Um, Dark Templar has Centurions, I think. I need to get some Centurions in front of them. Um, so let me just get more Dark Templar, and I'm gonna just fill up this whole line at the front in Centurions. I think that's what I need. Because the Dark Templar are going in by themselves, and yes, they're doing great. Uh, what is this Corsair trying to do? Or so you're drunk, go home. Get a, get a DD. Get a designated driver. Uh, Alright, so I'm just gonna get some centurions. I'm gonna get centurions all the way across. Like this whole front line is gonna be centurions. But I think my air I think my air uh, presence right now is just impossible to beat at this current point in time, so not really worried about that. Uh Damos Vikings are good. will do a great job against all these swarm hosts. Um Let's see. I think we're purging the swarm hosts more or less. More or less. Yeah, I need some centurions. I need, I need centurions. Uh huh. I think they're so cheap. They're only like ninety. They're only ninety gold. Uh, ninety minerals. I mean, uh, gold. Their upgrades are quite affordable as well. Can I get it? Let me get another one. Uh, double income feels so good. I'm gonna miss it so much. Uh, and nope, that's that's it. Okay, that's it. Is that a battle cruiser? What a mad lad. Okay. Um, there we go. Get the dark coil upgrades. There we go. Stasis calibration. Ooh. I should really be using my Oracle Stasis boards a lot more. Uh, I'm not sure if I have them. Do they automatically cast them? Stasis board. Let's just put them down here. Because why not? Why not? Why the heck not? We should just use it while it's available to us. Um, let's see. Oh, that was like a disaster. We just got murdered there. Yeah, it looks like we got murdered. That whole wave got murdered. Uh, there we go. They can, uh, okay, stasis calibration. We just stunned that entire wave. Um, uh, has a lot of black hammers. Black hammer Aegis guards. Uh, a dude in a suit backed up by a dude in a bigger suit. I like it. Uh, that is the ideal comp. Dudes in suits. Let's see. And he just has du small dudes in suits. And I mean, dudes in small suits and dudes in big suits. <laughs> okay, so let's just try to go to tier 3. I think we should uh, probably start doing that. Because so we can get access to our black hole. And uh, our allies have some decent AoE. Decent. AoE, uh, so we can uh, take advantage of that. And uh, Oracles, can you please put down your stasis boards? Right over here. There we go. Oh my god, that's some big stasis board action. What is going on? Is it because it, 
because they stunned the Brutalists? Or tried to? And Brutalists have Frenzy? I don't even know. Uh, I, got, I still see two Dark Templar here. They're just, they're just chopping away at everything. Uh, they're still going. I mean, Dark Templar actually, they were actually probably the best buy uh, that I made. Um, the Void Rays are gone, like, Corsairs are gone. The Oracles are still alive, though. Somehow. And this is why you should always use the nuke earlier, guys. Look at how long it took that nuke to come in. It took like a whole one and a half seconds. This is why you should always use the Rescue Strike early. Alright, let's look at the stats. Um, okay, so no surprise here, I did not perform that well. That's okay. Uh, I still outperformed the enemy Abathur? What the heck did he... What? 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 Uh, you what? Okay, so he went for like literally just like... I'm gonna build everything that Abathur has to offer. Um, in no particular order. Uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. This Abathur here did quite well. Um, surprise, like, this Abathur was carrying. And he only had three Swarm Hosts, really. I think it's because all these roaches and, like, these biomass roaches that he had. Because uh, those things stay alive. Uh, units, I lost a lot of value. Uh, that makes sense. But my both my allies here pulled, like, so much of their weight. Hunter and Horner actually just obliterated Rainer. It's also because Rainer went like small units. This is not this is not the Rainer build to be going like mass small units. I think the best build would be like tanks and vultures. I think that's what I'm gonna try. Tanks and vultures. Oh, he got his Hyperion out, but um, I don't, I don't recall seeing it on the field, so he might have just lost before it got out. All right, if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time.